Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Naveed and in this lecture I will teach you how to make a drop down from another table. Now if you don't know what is mean by drop down, if I click on this as you can see that it is giving us a drop down. So we are going to create a drop down from another table. So let's see how to create a drop down. In order to create a drop down, first what I do, I will create a table. Uh, as you know how to create a table I will definitely go in a design view and I will give the name that is uh, or you can say table it will be better and then after I will click ok and here I will make my names and uh, teacher oh, for example in this table I just want two columns so after completing this I will double click on table and then it will ask me to save the table yes I say I want to save the table and I will click on yes and as you can see that my table has been saved now what I do I will go in the create menu and click on table and here I will create a new table for the drop down and this will be the drop down from from this table a drop down will uh, from 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 this table drop down will come so how to create a drop down let's see in order to get drop down, I, what I do, I will click on design view again and I will say that drop down table or it can be any name, okay. And here I will type names and the name should be, for example, text definitely double click. And as you can see that now we have two, uh, we, now we have two tables, the first is table and the second is drop down. So in order to create a drop down, uh, I will I will put some uh, you can say some names in the uh, drop down table, and for example I say Navid. If you are not getting what I mean and what I'm doing, just wait for a while, and after I complete this all, it will be clear for you. So for example, Zishan. Now again I will go in the table, and here I will come down. The definitely I will click on this column and I will come down and and then I will click on lookup it's asking me what are you look what are you looking for I say lookup and then links box and then I will give the row table source so as I click on this it's showing me two tables definitely I will click on drop down table because here as you can see that we have the we have table with name is drop down I will click on drop down and and then I will double click and sa oh, save with my table and what I do I will as I click I am now in the table and as I click as you can see that now it is give me a drop down so I no need to type the name again and again over and over just I will uh, click on this drop down and this drop down uh, for example from this drop down if I like Naveed and if I want the name Naveed I will just click on that and that name will come here and where uh, from where uh, the names are coming definitely names are coming from the drop down table so what we did we definitely uh, we, we need to see it again so what I did first I create a table with the name any name table and I gave two feet the first the, 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 the first was uh, ID and the second was name and then I create a new table with the name drop down and in the drop down what I did I put some uh, some names and and then after what the third step was that I, I went again in design view and I, I select this column and I click on lookup and then I click on uh, uh, this drop down and it, it gave me the names of two columns or so tables so I say that I want the I, I want the uh, for example data from this table and I click on drop down table which is here because the names are inside in, the, uh, in this table so I say okay I need I, I want this table and then I say that okay I want this table when I did all things I double click on it and as you can see that now it is giving us a drop down so this is the way to to make the drop down from another table I hope you enjoy learn so thank you for watching Allah Hafiz and I will see you in next lecture Allah